You think shit. it's a game? You are listening to the sound come, come on. of DJ Mad. Yo, what's going on, boys and girls? DJ Mad and MAD back again with another tutorial. Some really cool stuff. Uh, this is something that I was having a little trouble doing. And after doing some research and reading and stuff like that, I found out how to do it. And I wanted to share it with you because I'm pretty sure that if I'm having a little issue, well, I was having a little issue working, trying to figure this out. I'm pretty sure many other people are as well so I, I want to throw it out there um, this video is about how to automate contact parameters in Cubase um, 8 and uh, I believe this is uh, if I'm not mistaken this is the same process that, that you can you can uh, automate on just about every doll possible now if you own contact oh, let me close this right here it's a really cool uh, plugin by the way uh, a TB called TB compressor uh, look for that. It's really cool. It's a good, really cool, cool compressor. So, if you own contact, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Sometimes, um, when you come over here, when you go to your libraries and you load any of this stuff, um, let me just uh, close this right here. If you load any of this stuff right here, what happens? Any of these buttons right here, if you want to automate, all you got to do is just uh, hit the the right button. And as it's playing, it just touch any any of the parameters, and it'll pop up right away. Of course, it will only pop up if you have uh, this thing turned on, which is uh, how do you get to it? Uh, automation panel, and then where's the button at? Oh, over here. And then you go reveal parameter on right. So you have to you got to make sure you got you got that clicked in reveal parameter on right, and Basically, anything that you touch, which I'll show you right now, if I put it on right, yeah, if I, if I, now that I touched it, it automatically popped up right here. That's that, that parameter right there. We're going to undo that because I don't want that to happen. All right. And, um... But that's that, the thing about this is that this only works on on stock uh, sound libraries, like basically anything that pops up right here, uh, which means that you know all these sounds they have they are licensed through Native Instruments. Anything that that you have downloaded as third party that you will have it on your on your files, you know, library, is not going to be able to do that. Or if you import your own sample, so let's uh, get rid of that real quick. Um, save changes? No, I do not want to do that. So in this case, what I did was I grabbed the sample of mine and I just dragged it and dropped it right here on contact and it created a new uh, uh, sampler. So uh, if you're watching this video, it's because you actually want to know how to do this. So you know this part, you know, you click on this ranch over here and it opens up all these parameters. Now, over here, if you want to automate this stuff right here and you hit right, play, and you touch any parameter, it doesn't work. Nothing works. Uh, uh, the reason why is because um, none of this stuff is mapped because this these are all third party. This is all third party. Uh, not, I mean, this and this sample that I dragged and put it in here, you know, it's equivalent to a third party instrument because I'm creating it myself. So the way you do it is. Um, right here in this uh, library, which says files, library, data, database, monitor, modules, and auto. You got to go on auto, and you're going to see all of these numbers right here, which is like 1 to like 500 and something, whatever the case may be. Yeah, 511. So that's uh, 511 parameters that you can map into all these buttons. The way you do it is, which I already did it, um, you let's say you want to automate in this case I automated tune and speed so all you got to do is um, when I wanted to automate the the speed I grabbed this from here and if you look closely see there's like a little square right there you can just drag it to whatever it is that you want and you see the plus sign right there so you just drop it and it'll automatically make the connection the same thing you could do it with the second one and the third one and as many as you want for any parameters that you want to use now once that's done if you click on right and you play and you touch the parameter it will automatically pop up which i already uh did that part and it already popped up right here so 
you will see those parameters like for example the uh the speed i think it's the yeah the the speed that's this one right here so you will see it moving you will see it moving as it's playing so check it out actually that's the tune see the tune moving right here so basically that's the way you get your uh your automation going as far as like any uh third party sample sampler in contact or if you are using your own samples to uh to create variation as far as uh, um, modulation and stuff like that um uh, this I'm working on this really cool track right here. I don't know what to call it. If it's like uh, Jack and House or whatever the case may be. I think it sounds really cool. So, and the next tutorial what I'm going to be talking about is uh, how to uh, grab and pitch vocals and make them into into tones so you can actually play them as a piano. Uh, and that's what I actually did right here. I grabbed the sample and I put it on key, which is playing on, on the key of C. And I can actually grab the sound and uh, I'm going to hit my keyboard right now. And I could play, that's the C. And I could play E. That's C. So basically, I'm going to teach you guys how to do that in the next tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, don't forget to follow, subscribe, like, comment, and any questions you got about this and how to go into more detail. I think I did this pretty fast, and I wanted to do it really fast because I think it's something very simple that, that could be done really fast and quick and easy. So uh, again, uh, follow, subscribe, not follow, uh, subscribe, comment, and like this video. It will encourage me to do with more videos like this and to keep feeding your brain into making your production just much easier. Thank you guys. You, you think it's a game? You're listening to the sound come, come, come on. of DJ Max.